decided that I would go ahead and create a series of short videos showing you how to do very specific things in Maya. So this is going to be episode one of that series. And one of the first things I like to share with people who are just getting their feet wet in a big tool like this is how to set up a custom shelf. I think that learning how to do this is going to help you navigate a lot of the tools a little bit faster and start getting you just a little bit more dangerous in Maya a little faster. So one of the problems I had learning this tool is where everything lives and just interacting with this interface is going to get you there faster, but that's not always what you want to hear early on. So what if you're just kind of getting comfortable with a handful of tools or you're using the same tools regularly? So this is where a custom shelf is really going to help you out. So first off, a shelf is this tab up here that has a series of tools that are associated with that particular pipeline. Um, poly modeling, for example, we're going to use a lot of these tools all of the time. I am very excited usually about the extrude tool or the bridge tool and the bevel tool to be specific. But there's a few on uh, that are not on here that I really love to use. So rather than just kind of focusing in on this or if I don't see uh, a tool up here that I use regularly, uh, trying to find it up here, I this is what gets me a little confused. I, I can't remember necessarily where things live uh, under mesh or edit mesh or mesh tools because the name of them just kind of seems to be very homogenous to me. They all feel like tools regarding mesh and editing meshes. So rather than just try to like remind everybody, well, just remember where these live. Eh, that's not always practical for everyone. So what I like to do is I like to set up a custom shelf. I make my own shelf here so then I can just like dock the tools that I use a lot and I don't have to worry about trying to find them all the time, especially if I'm using uh, like maybe the first five or 10 tools most frequently. Right. So how do I do that? Well, this little gear icon right here is going to give us some shelf options, and this is where you'll find the new shelf. So if I click new shelf, this is where I can name my shelf anything I want. But Maya is a little temperamental about this. You can only use letters, uh, numbers, or I think underscore. Can't really use any like fancy, fancy strings like a space bar. So if you try to put in my space shelf, it's going to throw up an error and it's going to say, hey, please use letters, numbers and underscores, please. We don't want you using any illegal characters like the, they make that sound so harsh. So instead, just make sure that you either use an underscore for anything that you want to have a space on it or just use maybe camel case or a, a naming convention that just keeps it all together. So I'm going to just call this um, Renee's underscore shelf. Leave it there. Yay. And I have my own custom shelf. It has nothing on it. So how do I put stuff on there? This is actually pretty easy. So first, I'm going to find a tool that I use all of the time. Uh, one of my favorite tools that I can never remember where it lives is the inset edge loop tool. So I'm going to control shift click that. And now you'll see that a little icon pops up on my shelf here. So now what I can do is I can turn on uh, that tool, the insert edge loop, and now I can just start adding edge loops as I want. So this, I guess, is kind of a two part tutorial, how to set up a custom shelf and how to use the insert edge loop tool. Hope that helps. Oh.